think about a flow to a business, our flow used to suck. Our raw materials would come in, they'd go to the brew house, they'd move back across this way to the bottling line, they'd move back across this way to the warehouse, and then we'd have to truck them, take them with a forklift across the parking lot. So we were bouncing back and forth, and now we've set it up as we've known that we were gonna be able to grow into all these buildings, we've set up a flow. So from where the grain comes in, through the brew house, through the filtration, through the fer fermenters, to the packaging, and then the warehouse is all one big semicircle. So that's one of those efficiencies that you gain as you grow and you can kind of plan your space use better. So in the, in the process of making beer, you need uh, some sort of a starchy material that you're going to convert into sugar, which will allow the fermentation of the, of the grain to, to make beer. So these silos are full of malted barley and malted white wheat. This is the grain hopper that after it's milled, it all goes into the hopper, and then that gets mixed in with hot water into this vessel, which is called the mash tun. And we steep it in here for a little over an hour and let it just do its thing. Let those enzymes get going. We're extracting the goodies out of the grain into the liquid, and we're making what's called sweet wort. Then we pump the whole slurry over to the louder tun, which I'm standing below right now, and it's the biggest vessel in the brew house. It's 27 feet across. It's basically the strainer. It's the wort separator. So we're gonna try to get all the liquid off of the grain and leave the grain behind so we can send that out to feed some dairy cows. So now that, now that we've got the work going into the kettle from the pre-run, we've got to add the hops. And the hops are going to take that sweet liquid that was the sweet work, and it's going to add a, a balance of bitterness that's going to make the complexity that makes a beer interesting. And the yeast is what creates the fermentation by eating the sugars, squirting out alcohol, farting out CO2, and, and you got beer at the end of a little short period of about 10 to 14 days. Even though we've got a very highly sophisticated computer system that runs the brew house, our guys are watching it every step of the way and there's a lot of manual overrides and they'll, they'll see temperatures fluctuate and then the automation is, is perfect. You wouldn't want to just walk away and run the system from your cell phone even though they say you'll be able to do that.